Hey everyone, it's Ozzy Jono and today I'm going to be talking to you about new V3 and specifically the design flaw within it. Now, I'm certainly not going to be picking on VQ because I think the company is fantastic, but it is surprising to me that a master of engineering has come up with a cube that has quite an obvious flaw. Now, take the black cube. If you've watched my previous videos, I had to do quite a bit of modification to make this cube workable for speed. Now I have, it no longer catches. Well, that's not true. It still sometimes catches, um, but less frequently. It certainly doesn't lock up anywhere near as much. However, the white one. Okay. Okay. Now you can see, this one was not as bad as the black one, but there's sometimes where it just locks up and you cannot move it. So why is that I hear you ask? Well if we take apart the cube and have a quick look it's quite obvious why. Now I look at the edge piece nothing really wrong with that. It's nice, it's smooth, it's rounded, um, appears to be no flash. Um, the only thing I'll say it's missing the torpedoes and when you say well does it have torpedoes? Well about 65% of the pieces do. I'm not sure why this one doesn't it's the corner pieces that are causing the problem. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is going to be visible to you at all, but here we have a standard corner piece okay. and it has a corner cap. Now this corner cap has been sunk into the QB. It's been glued there. The result of this is that there is quite an enlarged lip right here. Now when I say large, if it's not a millimetre, it's close. That's quite a weight. It may even be more. So you can see that off this side, the screwdriver just goes and flows, no worries. This, sometimes, and this, always. When you're cubing, this is what happens. However, I do feel that this does have a very simple solution and that is to modify the corner cap. Now if we were to increase the thickness of the corner cap then it would no longer have a lip because it would correctly meet up with the rest of the cubie. I don't know if it's that simple. Obviously there are people that are much smarter than me in charge of developing this cube and I'm hoping that they'll take this sort of information on board. So if we now compare this to my black view cube, I have managed to um, shave off and sand back the lip, which has made it functional. Now I do really love this cube, but I'm left with one obvious question. Why has Vita's Innovations put out a cube with such an obvious flaw? And it is a flaw, it is a fault. Okay, It's quite cleverly designed and yet this lip sticks out and makes cubing a nightmare. Okay. Um, I just give up doing some of my OLLs and PLLs on this. Um, it's just a nightmare doing middle cuts and sometimes just doing even your standard um, alg algorithms. Look, you, you can see that. So it amazes me that a company that's put out such high quality cubes previously. So I hope that you found this video enlightening. Not only you, the YouTube community, but also hopefully Veda's innovations. Why? because I hope that this cube, which has a needlessly present fault, is fixed. Thanks for watching. I'm Ozzy Jono.